Well, welcome back to Better Living. I'm here with Dan from Imagination Station. We've got some liquid nitrogen. I need to put yes. my yes. safety, safety glasses goggles up. on. Safety first. Absolutely. Yes. Um, so what we do, brought. What are you doing here? I brought some liquid nitrogen. It's some of our most favorite uh, substance that we uh, have at down at Imagination Station. Yes. It's fascinating stuff, and there's all kinds of different cool properties that it has. So I thought we'd share, do some experimenting, and share kind of what we can do with this stuff. So first, let's go ahead and look at some liquid nitrogen. So we got to kind of be careful because it's very cold. It's actually. 320 degrees below zero. That's really cold. Uh, Fahrenheit. So it's very, very, very cold. Now, if we look at it, what, what does it look like it's doing? It looks like it's boiling. Okay. Yeah, it's got all these like bubbles and it's churning. All right, it looks like it's boiling, right? But normally when people think of boiling things, right, we think of like boiling water. Yes, it's hot. Which is very, very hot, right? But liquid nitrogen boils at 320 degrees below zero. So that's very cold. Opposite. So I thought we could demonstrate that. Maybe we might be able to see it a little better if we used a tea kettle. We can actually pour some liquid nitrogen in our tea kettle. Okay, and if it is boiling, like our water is boiling, what would, what's going to happen when we close up our tea kettle? The, it would whistle. It'll whistle, right? Yes. Okay, so I closed it up. Why don't you go ahead and close the... Oh, it's whistling. So it whistles just like it's boiling water boiling. Yes. Uh, on your stove, okay? So what's happening is that liquid nitrogen is boiling, turning into, from a liquid into a gas, okay? Just like when you boil water, it turns from water into steam. Yes. Right? Water vapor. So it's doing the same thing, and it's expanding in a huge way when it does that. So I thought... It's very cold. It is very, very cold. cold. You can feel it yes, right there. I thought... We could capture that gas just to see how much gas we're making. In a balloon. In a balloon, right? Yes. So I've got a test tube here, and I'm going to put some of my liquid nitrogen inside of this test tube. Kind of fill it up. And then cap it off with this balloon and trap that nitrogen gas. Okay, and you can see that balloon oh, move it down, is expanding in a huge way, right? And I can kinda, you can kind of see it boiling inside, and I can warm it up, make it go faster. But gas takes up way more space than a liquid. Yes. And I can even make it happen faster if I like dump it in there and twist See, it. See, I'm being all nervous, Nelly, like it's gonna okay. like pop off. Well, the you know, it could pop, you never know. Yeah. Uh, but see, you see it's expanding and it's becoming huge, like really, really big, okay? And eventually that balloon, it will become like brittle at the bottom here and it might not be able to take it anymore. Um, Look and at me it'll being keep nervous. expand it's expanding and expanding and getting bigger and bigger and bigger. It can take up like seven hundred times more. Things. Like that. You you, you were know. just waiting for me to have a heart attack, weren't you? <laughs> it happened. You know, it sometimes, happened. you know, you pop a balloon. Yeah. But there's heart attack right so now. much energy uh, uh, inside of that liquid nitrogen, it expands and expands as a gas and it kind of shreds our balloon. Is that here. cold? Um, it's, it's not oh, cold it, anymore. Oh, just a tiny Warms little back little. up. Because out here it's like an oven compared to inside. That's how I like, like it, yeah. 400 uh -huh. degrees hotter, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Okay, so that's cool, but I also like to kind of just put stuff in liquid nitrogen and just to see what happens. Yeah, just for okay? fun. Okay, so I thought we'd throw some, you know, we were talking about the food earlier. I've got, this is a, like a... Clementine. Tin, Clementine. Yes. Okay, and I thought we'd give that a try. So we're going to... See what happens. Put it in our liquid nitrogen and see what happens here. Now, before we came on, I actually put some other stuff in here. Yes. To do some experiments. I saw so, an egg. So you saw an egg. Maybe I think that one's in there. This is actually uh, an onion, which we put in before. That's pretty it's fun. It's only been in there for about three minutes. Okay. Right before we start it. So we can actually drop it like this. Oh, cool. Okay. And you, did it's you like guys glass. feel that kind of shatters like glass? Yeah. And I have this hammer here. Go ahead okay. and like hit it. Oh, okay. like you barely have to touch it. You barely have to touch it. So what's happening is there's a lot of moisture in fruits yeah. and vegetables. So we're freezing that water, okay? And it's so cold that it instantly oh, turns into ice. Really and you cool. can actually that like, is like, break I mean, it that up is like really glass. cold. And you can like Yeah. Ah, that's drop really cold. And freeze it like that. It is, it is quite that's cold. really cold. Now, I've got some other things in there. I think I put in... Ooh. Bring them on. Okay, I got... I got, I think I grabbed, ooh, yes. This, so this is an egg. I don't know if we're gonna smash this one with a hammer, but you can look and see that I put this raw egg in beforehand. Let's drop it and see what happens. Okay. Oh, look at that. So it Yo. looks like it's almost like a hard boiled egg. Yeah. If you, I don't know if that camera can. Rah. See that, can you but it see looks that, like Mikey? a hard boiled egg. 
Let's turn on it the inside. this way. This way just maybe? Little, yeah. That is pretty cool. But it's actually all just frozen. We froze all that water inside, and it kind of looks like a hard boat. You can, you might be able to hit it. Oh, I'll just that. try. Just crack oh, it open. Oh, yeah. Isn't that cool? Oh, yes. But it only happened, you know, if you put that in your freezer at home, that would take like three hours yeah. uh, to happen. But this took like three minutes. Okay, we have like 30 seconds. Can 30 I hit an seconds. orange? Or, or yes, what happens yes. to the flowers? Let's, get, let's do that. Okay, yeah, here. Yeah. So I've got this flower. Yeah. We're gonna, now flowers, they have lots of moisture in them. They pull moisture up through their stems into their leaves. Now this is really cool. It only, oh, I lost <gasps> it in there. That's okay. <gasps> you can actually take it and crumble it's it like up with instantly. your fingers. It's like instantly. Oh yeah. It kind of breaks off just like glass. Isn't that amazing? It is really cool. That'd so be like a cool art project. We freeze all the water on the inside, which makes it very brittle, and then you can just ah. break it up just like That's that. That's so much fun. Isn't that amazing? Tell it's people amazing when stuff. they can come to Imagination Station. You can come on down to Imagination Station. We're open uh, um, yeah, so that's Tuesday, Tuesday through Sunday. Sorry. And, We're all uh, excited about breaking You can come down up. and uh, check out our Think Tank workshops. We've yes. got all kinds of cool workshops going on with Legos and the Think Tank. So if you can come on down, check those out. Uh, yes, really awesome. and I'm going to keep breaking stuff because it's a lot of fun. <laughs> check out Imagination Station. They're doing fun things with science. You'll never even realize you're learning. It's awesome. We'll be right back.